What's up guys, Blu-ray Billy here, back for another video, and today I'm going to review The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. Now, this is a spoiler-free review, but it's really hard to do a spoiler-free review, so if I accidentally give a part away of the movie, I'm sorry. But I'm sure I won't do. But anyways, um, the 12A rated movie stars Martin Freeman... Um, Benedict Cumberbatch as, uh, well, he's barely in it, like 20 minutes of Smaug, obviously, but, um, yeah, um, and Orlando Bloom and some other characters, or other people. Now, what did I think of The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies? Well, let me start off by saying that I was really looking forward to this movie, but, this movie really disappointed me. Now, there are many reasons why I was disappointed with this movie. I have more negatives than positives, but I'll say the positives first. The first 20 minutes was the best part about this movie. I thoroughly enjoyed the first 20 minutes. I'm not going to say what happens during the first 20 minutes, but, um, yeah, that was my favourite part of the movie. And, um... The action sequences were really well so shot. Um, yeah, I. But yeah, those are the only two positives I can give this movie. Now on to the negatives. This movie was just too predictable. I knew what was going to happen. Even though it's the um, shortest Hobbit movie, or Middle Earth movie. It feels like it's three or four hours long. It's just... I just felt really bored during this movie. Let me just say that Martin Freeman is only in this movie for about 10, 20 minutes. And he's the main character. Um, yeah. Here's the thing, though. This movie wasn't needed. Peter Jackson just wanted to do this movie because he wanted The Hobbit to be a trilogy. Um, yeah, that's the only reason why this movie exists. And this movie could have been 20 minutes long. I'm not going to say why, but this movie could have been 20 minutes long. And if it was 20 minutes long, I could have given this movie four and a half stars, five out of five. But now it's time to give my rating. Now... The first 20 minutes, I have to give 5 out of 5. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to um, half that 5 out of 5 to 2.5 stars out of 5 for the whole movie. Because, uh, yeah, it's one of the most... It's probably the most disappointing action movie I've ever seen. Saying that, though, I haven't seen the other Hobbit films. Well, I've seen the endings, so I know what happened. I've seen the ending of both movies, so I know what was going to happen. I could understand, like, this this movie, because I saw the endings of the other um, Hobbit movies. But, yeah, two and a half stars. It it just wasn't great. Um, uh, if you're a massive Middle Earth fan, watch it, definitely. But me, I just could barely find any enjoyment in this movie so two and a half stars have you seen the hobbit the battle of the five armies if you have comment like um and yeah i'll try and do a fast and furious seven spoiler review soon um but yeah one of my next reviews will probably be avengers age of ultron because i will be seeing that in a few in about three weeks so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video blu-ray billy logging off